Hello everybody, today's video is going to be the first of many guides on Software Inc, which today I will specifically cover the character and company creation phase of Software Inc. The choices you make here can make or break a playthrough, so I'll be discussing the best choices to make I want to have an enjoyable experience playing the game. The first decision you'll need to make is how many founders you'll want. When it comes to the number of founders, there isn't any one number that's overwhelmingly better than another, but for your first playthrough, I recommend either going with one or two founders. When, uh, the benefits of either one is, you know, if you have one founder, you can keep all the profit to yourself, but it might take a bit longer before you get to the point where you can design your own software. And if you go with two, you can get to that point faster, but obviously you have to share some of the profit. So. It's an important link to decide, and throughout the video I'll be giving different tips based on you know if you have one founder or multiple founders. So next you'll want to come over to the left side of the screen, which you can customize how your character looks. That's all personal preference, but you'll have some choices to make when it comes down to the uh, traits and personality of your founders. And which for starters I would recommend just choosing the default traits for personality, which is generous and optimistic. Those are the best when it comes to team compatibility. After that, you can choose the traits, and there's a lot of good traits you can choose, but the best one by far is Fast Learner. This is good just because your founder is going to be working for your company for a long time, for probably at least 40-ish years, so by having that trait, it gives them plenty of time to pick up a bunch of um, specializations. And then after that, you can either choose another good trait, which if you're going to do that, I recommend Big Brain, but I'd actually recommend instead choosing one of these neutral traits, in which you should choose Friend Maker. This just helps out, you know, team compatibility, and gives other positive benefits. And when it comes to ne the negative traits, there's a, you know, uh, it's a lot of personal preference here, but the worst one that you don't want to choose is Forgetful. This is one of the worst traits, and it's because you know, if you have this, your character will start to work on stuff that they're not specialized, which will affect the quality of your software negatively. So don't choose that. If you're going to choose one, I would recommend Neat Freak. It's not that bad of a trait. Okay. Next, you'll want to come over to the skill and specialization part of the screen. It's probably the most important part of uh, creating your characters. The first decision you'll have to make is your character's creativity. So, when it comes down to it, if you have one founder, I'd keep it at ordinary. If you have multiple founders, keep them all at ordinary except for one. And more specifically, keep your main character, or make your main character the visionary. Which you'll notice the main character because he'll be the rightmost founder. And you'll want to have him be the visionary just because he'll get the royalties and IP ownership of it. Which you don't want that to go to your other founders. So. That's important. And then you also want to decide the focus. So you want this to be whatever the first software you tend on releasing is. So for your first software, I recommend either going 2D Editor, Audio Tool, or Antivirus, just because those are the easiest ones to develop. And then after that, we'll go just back to Ordinary. Uh, for your founders, you want them all, you don't really need leadership skill or service skill really. You might keep a little service skill. If you have more than one founder, it's okay to give one of them some leadership skill, but otherwise just keep them something like this. And if you have one founder, I'd prioritize design a bit and, uh, and also give programming a bit of skill. You know, something like that. If you have more than one, you can mix it up, you know, give one character a lot of design skill, another character a lot of artist skill, or something like that. But if you have one founder, you should aim for that. And then when it comes down to specializations, uh, there's a lot of decisions to be made here. For starters, we're actually going to just go to service. And you want to put all your skills into support. Even if you have multiple founders, it's not worth get, getting any points into marketing or law or accounting. This is more, you know, later in the game once you've actually released the piece of software that you'll need to hire someone for. It's not worth having your founders specialize in that. And then when it comes to leadership skill, I would recommend putting all your skills into socialization just because that gives 
boost the compatibility and socialization. And then I'd also put all your skills into multitasking just because it proves the effectiveness with different tasks. And then I'd put my last skill into HR. It's just because you don't need any automation skills. This is a very late game feature. And then HR, well, you know, it's nice to have them handle education and hiring. It's not that important until later in the game, which you can just hire someone or educate your employee to be good at that. Now we come to development. So you want to specialize depending on what your first software you're going to be releasing is. So as I said earlier, I recommend either doing 2D editor, audio tool, antivirus. So all of those require skill and uh, system so you want to get a salt skill of system and then all those require some skill in 2d so I'd recommend going 2d unless you decide to do audio tool in which I would prioritize putting most of your points in audio and then just leave it skill in 2d but assuming you're not doing that I would do three points in 2d and one point in audio and then uh, you would want to put all, same thing with programming and artists. If you're doing audio tool, then put it all in audio with a skill left in 2D. But otherwise, if you're doing 2D editor, antivirus, this is how you should go. If you're releasing something else, like perhaps like an audit operating system or a game, you might consider putting some skill, you know, more skill in audio or hardware, but otherwise it's not needed. Okay. After that, you'll come over to the right part of the screen in which you'll want to decide what difficulty to play at. So if it's your first time playing a simulation game, I'd recommend doing beginner or easy. If you had ex some experience with games like this, then you can do medium. And then after that, you'll want to decide what year to start at, which I would highly recommend just keeping it at 1980. It's by far the funnest year to start at. And then you can also choose to have a loan, you know, have some more money, but I would just keep it at uh, no loan. Uh, starting funds should be plenty to you know, let you start the game up. And after that, you can choose how many days per month. So when it comes down to this, regardless if you have one day or eight days in a month, you still get the same amount of work done. It just, by choosing more days, it allows you to spread the amount of time you have to think about stuff over multiple days. So generally, I go with two days, but as I said, it doesn't really have any major influence on your game. And after that, if you're happy with everything else, you can come down here and pick a map in which you might be tempted to uh, you know, try to build your own building, but it's too expensive starting out with. It's just not worth the cost. So I'll rent out a building. And as you can see, I have a lot of mods, but of the default ones, I would just recommend going to garage, click on that, click OK, and you'll start up your game. Okay, that was the end to our first guide, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's any suggestions you have when it comes down to character company creations or any questions, look, please let me know. Also, if there's any specific guides you guys want me to make, uh, let me know in the comment section. I will add it to the list. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and see you next video.